Hey, it's Michelle Schaefer from michelleschaefer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deactivate and delete a plugin in WordPress if you're no longer using it. The reason this is good to know is that you don't want to have too many plugins installed on your WordPress blog, especially if you're not using them. Too many plugins add extra code, which adds extra page load time. You've got to keep them all updated. So it's just a good idea to keep it simplified to just the ones that you're actively using. So here's what to do to deactivate and delete a plugin that you're not using. I'm already logged into my blog. I'm on the dashboard. Over here on the left, I'm going to go to the main plugins page. And on this page, you'll see I get a listing of all my plugins that are currently installed on my blog. Some of these are active, some of them are inactive. What I'm going to do is scroll down here and let's find one to get rid of. Okay, I'm not using this particular plugin, so I'm going to hit the deactivate button. And when you do that, what happens is that it takes that plugin and makes it inactive. There's one more step though before it's actually gone, which is to delete the plugin. Now if we scroll back down to where that's listed, there it is. Now there's a delete option that wasn't there before because it was active. Now I can click delete and WordPress will ask, ask me to make absolutely sure that I want to delete it. So I click yes, delete these files. And that's it. The plugin has been deleted. If you're using a caching plugin like I am, you'll have to empty your page cache to make sure that it's removed from your site. But those are the steps to remove a plugin that you are not using. Another tip is if you're not sure which ones you have active and which you don't, just look right here. All active, inactive. If you click on inactive, it will take you to a page where any plugins that you've already deactivated are listed. I have all these that I've deactivated that I'm not using. If I'm sure that I won't be using it again, for example this one, I can go ahead and delete them. I've got a few on here that I may reactivate so I haven't deleted yet. But any that I'm sure I don't need, it's a good idea to go ahead and delete and pare down how many plugins are currently active and installed on my blog. So I hope this tip has been helpful for you and you can go clean up your plugins on your WordPress blog.